guys, welcome back to being a 32 year old lady. Oh, thank you. So after the last time that I painted, when I followed a Bob Ross tutorial, I realized how much I genuinely enjoy painting. I also realized that oil paint is not the paint for me. It got literally everywhere, including Kermit. And a lot of you suggested that I keep trying with different types of paint. One of which was acrylic paint. Also some of my favorite YouTube videos to watch. Some of the most relaxing content on this website is acrylic pour videos. Basically take acrylic paint and like dump it onto a thing and that's your painting. Which sounds like the kind of painting that I'd be good at because I can't really draw or paint or think in general. So I need something a little more free form. Julian's here because he's so jealous of when I painted Bob Ross, he wanted to join along. Just don't make a mess. I mean, you're gonna make a mess, but like don't make an Aries mess. We literally bought like sheets of vinyl from the fabric store, which I didn't know you could do, but we covered the table and the floor. But like th the mess needs to stay here. It can't go like in this kind of direction, like an Aries. Move on that direction. No, not that direction. Okay. This, the whole kitchen is on limits. <laughs> the whole kitchen is not on limits. <laughs> so I watched a bunch of acrylic pour beginner videos and basically what it comes down to is you need acrylic paint and some type of thinning medium. There's people that use like glue and water and liquid silicone and dish soap and all kinds of stuff. What I found is that this is like just a ready-made thing that we can do because I don't know what I'm doing. And you're supposed to put them in cups, but the girl at the art store said that this might be even better if you mix it in a thing and then you can pour it this way instead of dumping all these open cups. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So you mix half color, half? We don't know. There's all different kinds of ratios. Some of them are like one third of this and two thirds of that or vice versa. Did you just eat that? What colors are you going to do? Because I'm going to do all red. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> all red, baby. I realize, like, as an adult, the things that I get excited about, like, actually excited about, are all, like, arts and crafts. Because I spent all my life, like, you know, doing my academic studies and sports. This part of my life never got explored, and I feel like it's just coming out of me as a 32-year-old lady. How beautifully put. Why are you crying? Nasty boy! Kermit, you're not allowed <laughs> anywhere near the paint. Nasty boy! Well, this seems so much more like clean and not messy because if this table was full of cups of colors right now one of us would be able to make sure that none of them got dumped over the other one is julian there's basically no rules like you just do whatever you want but there's clean pours which is where you sort of pour them in a pattern or like in a circle and then there's dirty pours where you take a cup you ready and you pour it all in the cup and then you pour the cup out oh i'm really excited for that like i'm already having such a good time this is fun you don't really do acrylic pours on like a canvas i guess because it'll like melt down because it's a lot of weight it's a lot of paint so we're using these what are they called they're like flat sort of boards wait why do we have two yellows because i got a really bright yellow for me to use and you can use the normal average looking yellow okay that's not fair the only thing about acrylic pours is that it looks like you just waste a fuck ton of paint, but like, it's for art, so. I guess you could measure these if you really felt like it, but even my Virgo ass doesn't feel like measuring anything. People on YouTube will put like a strainer down and then pour it through the strainer. Like, cool. the possibilities are fucking endless each, and the hours of watch time are fucking endless each. I've arranged them all in rainbow order or else we can't do it. You wanna start with a clean pour? Clean pour. Yeah, cause that's like the basic. I've never done it before. So underneath here we have, like you could put anything, but we just cut like a little piece of foam so that this can dry cause it needs to drip off the sides. I'm really scared but excited cause I know that there's no rules, but I also am overwhelmed by choices. I'm gonna start. Okay, I'm scared. Oh, is it coming out slow? You could just go like this too. <gasps> There's so many bubbles. What's, what are you doing? My inspiration is the colors blue and yellow. I think I made some of these way too watery. Oh, it's beautiful, Beach. Yours looks like a, the good consistency and mine's just like full of bubbles and shit. Whoa, yours is really going for it. Oh shit. Oh, yours is like really bold and wild. Mine's when do I start doing it? Whenever you want. Really? I can There's just start? There's no rules. You can do whatever you want. All right. Well, here we go. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, careful. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. That's really great it stuff. It actually turned out really bad. I need to redo it. Julian. No, oh, it's really good. Why'd you call it bad? Because it looks 
looks weird. Keep going. It looks really nice. Look at, whoa, look at, those are all the cells. That's like, if you let it just sort of like chill, it'll start moving and doing its own thing. Like you don't even have to paint, it's painting for you. It's painting for me. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, he's an Aries. Oh, wait, that is so dope. Whoa. Oh, I really like it. I admire your boldness and your decisiveness. I don't have that. What is that? Oh. Dude, I'm a fucking artist. So good. Mine looks like an egg. I hate it. Look at it, it's already pouring off. Oh no, did I ruin it? <gasps> Am I ruining it? Did I ruin it? I'm gonna do mine, you ready? Yeah, I do it. Whoa. Damn. Who you fighting? <gasps> oh my God, finally a kind of painting that I can do. It's really relaxing. I love yours. Julian! What happens if I just... You can do whatever you want. Oh, wait, no, no. I don't think that's an acrylic pour anymore. I wrote my name. Oh my God. Now everyone will know my name is underneath. I know there's no rules, but I think... <laughs> You writing, you writing your name under something and then just going over it is not exactly what it's meant to be. But I mean, do you? So I will say that putting them in the bottles does give you a lot of air bubbles. But I don't know if that's like helping the cells or if it's like making them worse or better or I'm not sure. Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. Julian, why are you covered in paint? So I guess as you like do more of these, you probably get a lot better at this technique, huh? Because we both sort of just like dumped it out. Whoa, yours keeps literally changing. Yeah, dude, constantly in flux. My first acrylic pour. High five. Oh. High five. Do you like it? I like it a lot. Do you like mine? Yeah, I love yours. It needs to be different. See, I love that. What you just dripped off of your painting onto here. Yeah. Like, I think this, lift up your thing. I feel like your tray came out so cool. Yeah, it did. What if we do that? Since there's no rules, can I dump my tray onto it? That is so fun. Please don't tell me in the comments that I ruined my acrylic pour by doing this because I made it great. This is like a meta acrylic pour. I think it's so cool. Whoa, yours looks fucking crazy. Yeah, it turned out crazy when you added those extra colors. You need no skills though, which is what I need. I need just a pure form of creativity without any special skills required. Well, I will say that neither of ours really came out like an acrylic pour with like the concentric circles or whatever, but like, I'm not mad. Fuck it. I love that. I like it too. Like the longer it sits here, the more it like changes. Yeah. Okay. Julian, I swear to God, stop doing that stuff. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Why do you keep changing yours? It's not done till it's done. It's really hard to know when to stop. I I don't want to stop. It doesn't really look like any of the ones that people do on YouTube. Do I have a hard time following directions? Oh, I really like your choices. Three layers under that says my name. <laughs> I'm taking my gloves off. I want to set this somewhere to let it dry. And then we're going to do a dirty pour, which is when you pour all of the paint into a cup and then pour it on top and whatever it is, it is. It shouldn't be a dirty pour, it's a destiny pour. You like it because you don't have to make a decision. Yes! You pour all the paint in here and then you drink it, is that how it works? <laughs> I think I'm gonna use like not a million colors. Oh, I'm swirling it when it's in here. Yeah. This is dope. Oh, this is so cool. This is gonna be fun. Is this enough or do I need more? I don't know. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. What you're gonna do, move your styrofoam really quick. Okay. Take it, put it on top of your cup and then flip it. <gasps> I think you just like pick it up and do whatever and then you move it around. Ready? Yeah, go. Three, two, one, whip. Ooh, that's so many colors. It's dark. Oh, fun. One, two, three. Damn. I love it. Mine looks... <laughs> Julie, Mine looks like wallpaper at Julie. a hotel. Oh, you made brown? It's okay, I'll salvage it. Oh, there's like a thing in my, <gasps> I like, I absolutely love doing this. It's just as fun as watching a video, but like, it's just my so- My fingers accidentally touched it. Relaxing to watch this, isn't it? My fingers touched right here. 
It's fine, babe. Just keep going. This is no longer a dirty pour. It's officially a clean pour again. I wish that I had like a little more like payoff. You know what I mean? Mine too. Mine's butt. No, yours isn't butt. Don't say that. Don't, don't drip your painting on my painting. All right, I changed my mind. My sponge is actually my canvas. That's so fun. Yeah, I like this better. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Stop dripping your painting on my painting. <laughs> this is more fun, arguably, than finger painting. Julian, what are you doing? Julian! Now I can do what I want. This is what I wanted to do all along. What? Make it black. Julian, don't! <laughs> Why don't you show them what you're doing? <laughs> it's just... It's a oh. representation of my journey. Hey, you just dripped all over <laughs> my painting. Use all the tools at your disposal. Hmm. That's what the fisherman with a gun said. I call this one hellscape. Well, here's the thing, is that this was really fun, but I can't tell if I like this or not. Like the final result? Yeah. I know there was like a bunch of renditions that happened halfway through that I liked, and but then, then it we changed. Just, we didn't know how to stop. So you don't keep acrylic paintings. You throw them out and you burn them. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I'm done. All right, mine's done too. What a ride. I don't think that I like this. I definitely hate mine. <laughs> I like yours. I think yours looks cool. I don't really like it. Is that like what art is like? How are you supposed to just fucking stop? I'm gonna discard this in a very violent way, but I'm gonna remember this journey. No. I think the hardest part about acrylic pouring that they don't show you on YouTube is just how difficult it is to stop. I like actually genuinely love yours. Damn. I hate mine. What do you hate yours for? It looks dope. It. It's got bright colors. Mine has no bright colors. I hate it. I want mine to be yours. Mine's boring. Damn. Art tour. Art tour. So this was my first acrylic pour ever. I think it's pretty cool. It's like changing. It's swirling. It's doing cool stuff. I don't know. It has a lot of movement and color, which I am enjoying. Here's Julian's first acrylic pour. Different than mine, but like really cool. I actually like this the longer it sat there. Yeah, because it like changes and settles. Yeah. Here's the result of your dirty pour, most of which ended up on the table. Hellscape. As much as you're a troll, I genuinely like Hellscape and I want to hang that up in the house. Sweet. And then here is my originally a dirty pour, which turned into something that I absolutely cannot stand. Hey, what? I hate it. No, don't hate it. It's good. It looks like a post-apocalyptic world. And the sky's still shining blue, but then there's this fiery pit of death and despair over here, which is from the apocalypse. But it still looks beautiful. And that's the new sun. I wish it didn't exist. Either way, though, like, this was so fun. This was a blast. Like, this is a, a style of painting that I feel like is really cathartic and, like, really fun and really nice. And I enjoyed making it as much as I enjoy watching the videos, which I feel like doesn't really happen. The paint's pretty dry. <gasps> I hate it more. <laughs> Stop touching it. Out of, out of your, Stop. I ruined it. Jenna, Jenna. Jenna, Jenna, we're done painting. I hate Stop. it. I ruined Stop. it. Stop. Stop. I ruined Jenna, it more. Jenna, Jenna, we're done painting. Stop. Jenna, be done. It looks like a piece of shit! Are you glad that you got to do this one yeah, with me? Yeah, no, this was a lot of fun. This would be fun to do drunk. Yeah! Like, let's have a Saturday night where we just drink wine and acrylic pour. I like that Are idea. Are you with me? I like that idea. Live stream on Twitch. I hope you don't mind us doing something a little different, doing something together, because I really wanted to try it. Now I know what it feels like. It feels terrible, but like also great at the same time. Is that what art is, just in general? Like terrible, but like great? It's a roller coaster of highs and lows. The high of doing it and the low of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in to being a 32-year-old lady. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.